next up on the list of rookie qualifiers for the 150-200 mile list is the Eagle Cap Extreme. And it got started in 2011, which is about the time that I quit um, being involved in mushing and started just being a racing fan. And so I'd heard that, you know, there was some talk that down in Oregon they were starting up a race, um, but I know, you know, nothing about it. And then looking at the list, I was like, oh, this, this looks awesome. Like, how could I have, like, been ignoring this for the last nine years. I'm like, well, I wasn't ignoring it. I was just oblivious. So anyway, it looks like a really fun race. They uh, have it up in the blues. I've only been um, up in that little corner of the, the state by Hales Canyon, um, which is a huge canyon. It's actually deeper than the Grand Canyon um, on the Snake River. And so it's, it's, beautiful, you know, mountain country, and so it starts at Ferguson uh, Ski Resort and goes past the Salt Creek Summit Snow Park, which is apparently a good spot to park your car and watch the racers go by, and then it goes out to Olakot. In many ways, the Eagle Cap Extreme looks like the perfect race to prepare for the Iditarod 2021. It's, you know, it's not an out and back. It goes out to Olakot and then it goes in a little circle and back to Olakot and then in a little circle and back to Olakot. And so, yeah, the first one is 53 miles to get there and then a loop um, just circling back on itself of 50 miles and then another little loop of 35 miles and then back to the start. Um, actually, I'm not positive on that. It goes to the Salt Creek Summit. Um, so, yeah, not seeing the map here. And that's 62 miles. So it's, it's, yeah, the kind of dog that can go in these little loops like he's trying to draw a picture of a clover um, is, is the right kind of dog to, to get just a little past a Diderot and turn around and go back down the trail he just came from. Um, be the right kind of dog to, you know, two years from now go, okay, well, we're going on by this time. Um, yeah, boss, it would be really nice if you'd like to let me know what's going on, but yeah, okay. And so, yeah, so I think it, it's, um, if I can see what mushers, you know, did do this race as a qualifier. I think they definitely have the right kind of dogs to to do uh, the Iditarod this year and in two years. They say they've got 26,000 feet of elevation gain and loss over the track, so that's a lot of up and down. Um, it looks like a fun race. They, have, they actually have four races that they have every year, a 22-miler for the juniors, which I assume means under 18. I didn't search that out. Uh, 31 miles, 100 miles, and 200 miles. It's the 200 miler that's the Iditarod qualifier. They don't. Um, they don't have open entry. They, they cut it off after. I think it's 30 people. I'd have to double check on that. Wednesday through Saturday event, and they've canceled it for 2021 looks like they're a strong mushing organization and that they're set for 2022. Um, you know, looks like they got all their ducks in a row to, to have the race going on then. And it'll be uh, January 19th, 2022. The Eagle Cap Extreme is one of three races that are called the Rocky Mountain Triple Crown. The other two are Montana's Race to the Sky and Idaho's Sled Dog Challenge.